a local teacher fired for using racial slurs in the classroom. Tonight, ABC 10's Luke Clary just spoke to the newly hired Race and Equity Liaison about the decision. Chris Madison, we learned that that teacher was served with uh, charges for termination and an immediate unpaid suspension last month for the explicit comments that she made to a classroom full of students last June, and it was all caught on a recording. In this recording, we hear a discussion about words at Kit Carson International Academy. Think about words that make things cheap, and I know the F word is something we hear Constantly. That's the voice of teacher Katherine Sanders in front of a classroom of students. It used to be, oh, it used to be a nasty, ugly word, and now it's like the word which everybody says, or which used to be a horrible, ugly word as well, and it's not anymore somehow. We want to be fair, uh, and we want to be transparent, and I think that this process has been both. Mark Harris, hired days ago by the district in the newly formed role of race and equity liaison, has been in on that process. You know, th this is pretty serious stuff. There have been reports all up and down the state of racist acts in and around school sites. Acknowledging some may have been disappointed by how long it took to finally serve charges for termination. He says the school has taken the time it needs to do a thorough investigation and follow processes laid out by state law. One of those steps is, for example, once the teacher was suspended without pay in December, that teacher has a certain amount of time to appeal. According to the district, Sanders did not appeal her immediate unpaid suspension, but has requested a hearing on the charges for termination. We want to make sure people are culturally aware and culturally competent and hopefully improve the atmosphere and environment of the entire district. And at this point, the Harris says that the process is out of the district's hands and the teacher will have the opportunity to present her case to keep her job. Uh, there will be an independent decision made on that and a hearing date still has not yet been decided. We'll report on that as soon as we know, but reporting live now in Sacramento, back to you guys.